What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Jake for those that are new here and this is my Case 1570 project. Uh, if you're new here and you haven't seen everything, I suggest uh, going back and catching up. Uh, there's a whole playlist on this tractor. But anyways, in this video we are uh, cleaning up the front axle. In the very end of the last video it, I showed that uh, the main part of the front axle was coming apart uh the reason that we did that is so we could get paint on everything uh, i tried to explain that but the audio was junk in that so anyways uh in this video of course uh we get paint on things and then uh also drop the oil on the motor but anyways uh that's consistent about 25 minutes of video in between this intro and the outro keep it somewhat short i tried to get this out uh monday but i was having some uh technical difficulties with the icloud uh so i wasn't able to do that so anyways today is thursday and i just want to say happy thanksgiving to everybody and i hope you enjoy the video so let's get to it all right like i said there was uh, some audio problems with things, but uh, this contraption that I was using here to strip off paint was a uh, Harbor Freight buy. It's a surface conditioner. Uh, this thing came very handy and trying to get a lot of the paint off. Uh, the wheel that I was using was a 40 grit wheel and it got it down to bare metal very quickly, which uh, also didn't take off a lot of metal either, uh, which is kind of uh, a better ordeal than using a uh, sanding disc on a angle grinder so anyways uh, yeah that's what's uh, kind of going on there uh, this took a lot of time to get a lot of this ready to go time lapse does not do it just
stripped off. I'm not going to worry about the steering cylinders, but I got those back on and adjusted before my GoPro died. I'm going to try to get the spindles together now and uh, get them into the tube uh, tubes on the outer parts of the front axle and then uh, everything should be ready to go for paint. Uh, we're trying to figure out a good way to be able to do everything with it in the air and uh, my idea was to use the cherry picker. My idea was to do the cherry picker but uh, we'll see here. Went and had some supper and now I'm back down here. I'm gonna work on trying to get the other spindle all together to where it's ready for paint and try to get everything cleaned up and uh, hopefully we'll be uh, painting before too long. But it may be tomorrow. Monday morning and uh, we got a pretty good early start here uh, it's before 8 o'clock so we're gonna try to get uh, paint on things today and uh, try to finish up a few things I'm going to drop the oil on the motor also uh, try to get that done with uh, new filters I think I'm gonna go ahead and just change fuel filters and uh, I haven't decided what I want to do on the transmission quite yet, but uh, I got the oil there to be able to do that and new filters. We'll see what we get to today, but for sure we're going to try to get some paint on things. Need to set up uh, an air dryer on the air compressor here this morning, as well as get all the new hoses, uh, have new ends on them and whatnot. So. I'm gonna work at that here this morning. Uh, we're trying to figure out a way to be able to mount several things onto uh, to keep it elevated so we can spray all the way around it. For instance, trying to find a way that we can do the uh, center section of the axle better than uh, what it is, and especially with a strap. Uh, so 
anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get started today and see how we do today. All 
right, that's primer onto all the bare metals and uh, got a pretty decent coat there. I uh, was fighting with the gun a little bit trying to get the right application with that paint. It's a latex paint. Probably wasn't designed to go through that this spray gun, but I made it work. So anyways, I'm clean back up and I'm going to let it dry for a while and we'll take a look at it and see if we can actually go on with some paint here later on. All right, we got paint on all of the pieces. Got uh, two coats on the main things, like the center here and the two outside tubes with the spindles and everything. Everything else has got one coat. Uh, everything went on nice and smoothly there once we got everything dialed in. Primer took a little bit to get uh, on with it being a le with it being a latex. But we ended up using the 1070 as uh, the support for the holding up the main center section. So kind of a crude uh, paint booth, but uh, it'll get all the job done and it looks very nice for now. Let's hope that it stays that way. But for now, I'm going to continue on cleaning up and... I think I'm going to drop the oil on the 1570 to get that done and then we'll go from there. I'm going to drop the oil on this thing and let it drain for a while.
right there before the last there when the uh, GoPro died. I got the second filter on and now I'm going to pour the engine oil into it. Uh, I am a gallon and a half short with the uh, filters so I will uh, have to pick up some more before I start the thing but uh, it'll be that much closer to ready to start so it'll be another thing that I'll have to pick up but for now it'll be done and I will move on to something else after I get this board. All right, I got the line for the differential lock off. That's going up to the brake booster, down to the T on the side of the transmission. And for now, I don't know what else to do uh, because I need my line, new line, that uh, I ordered last week. Uh, so kind of at a standstill being able to do that and with paint drying. So I think that'll be it for this evening and I'll pick it up tomorrow. Well, here's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, we got paint on everything. Uh, some of the audio is messed up uh, throughout, so I'll try to do some voiceovers here and there, but uh, the front axle turned out very nice as far as what I was uh, seeing there at the first. Uh, now that we've kind of went past things, uh, using latex primer was not the thing to do everything that i had as far as research was saying that the outer the the main part of the paint was uh latex for whatever reason or water-based so anyways uh that's the wrong type of primer for that paint uh ended up being an oil-based paint so we may have problems in the future uh hopefully we don't but i know better going into it next time but anyways uh 
I hope you enjoyed the video and there'll hopefully be another one out uh, with this being a long weekend. I hope I have some time to work on another one here. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoy your day with family and we'll catch y'all on the next one.